Google Chrome. This is a fresh startup. This is the first view you'll have. And if you visited some pages, you will see some snaps of pages you visited, as well as some links for the recent bookmarks. It will take automatically all of your Firefox links and your bookmarks, bring them into Google Chrome, and you'll be ready to go right from the get-go. I want to show you some of these pages to kind of give you an idea about how quickly it renders its uh, rendering agent. This Now, this content is actually cached because I've already downloaded this once. Um, this is a flash video, fairly hefty flash video. There you go, some JavaScripting with some rollover menus. And this is a pretty intense page. You'll notice that um, a little bit of a hangover on that last JavaScript, but that's kind of common. That's par for the course of JavaScripting. While we're here, let's go check out some other big pages. USAday.com will often take a little bit of time to load because it has a lot of content. And that loaded pretty quickly. New York Times .com. Flash right out of the box. Didn't have to install that. I like that a lot. Get very tired of very basic things. Flash should just come with every browser. Should be integrated. I, I realize there's some licensing issues and integration, but I kind of expect them to take care of that. So what do you have in this product that you don't have in the other browsers and the answer is not a lot yet you have tab browsing I like tab browsing you can click on the plus sign to go to new pages one of the key features or functionality rules about this product is that they try as best as they can to segregate the processes for every tab so if one tag is locked up you can just kill it and move on and video works right out of the box like I said already um, you know I don't know I I kinda like it it works but I'm not overly impressed yet I think one of the great things about Firefox are the plugins and Firefox 3 quite frankly functions pretty well let's go look at Firefox 3 in comparison so you'll notice it didn't crash there's Firefox 3 so let's go to some of the same pages let's go to um, USA Today and we'll go to New York Times same kind of experience watch a little bit of video and don't want to watch the rest of that ad let's do a little YouTube And we'll just click on some random video. Ah, uh, shockingly, an Obama ad. <laughs> There's a Barack Obama ad. Barack Obama ads work in Firefox too. And um, you know, so what, what what can I say about this? Well, one of the things I can say is there are a lot of add-ons. For example, I keep my bookmarks managed through Foxmarks. Um, there are, I have a web developer tool built in I use for my own purposes and, and there's a lot of other things you can add to Mozilla product um, I don't know is is this gonna work for Google also I assume that they're pretty good in the past about opening up API's it's open sourced it's BSD licensed so I expect you'll see the same thing you'll see a community come together to, to add on stuff for them too um, how is at this point how is Google better than Firefox or the um, the Chrome product better than Firefox it seems like it's a little lighter weight that's the only thing I can say about it it seems a little bit lighter it seems to come up a little bit faster and trust that Google as they claim they will will work hard to make sure that the independent tabs stay in their own little jails so they don't bleed over and kill your system and the only complaints I have about against Mozilla Firefox is that in Linux this is Windows but in Linux I do see it uh, in BSD as well I do see it take over the box and just you know take a lot of resources and, and do dumb looking things um, Firefox 3 is really pretty good though and you know, we're back in Chrome I at this point to be honest with you I don't see a compelling reason to go to Chrome other than these guys will probably stick to some standards 
will probably help to strengthen things like JavaScripting support and um, JavaScripting engines built into the system. And I'm a pretty big fan of that as a developer. So have fun. That's Google Chrome. You can go download it. Well, let's show you how to do that. You can go to Google and uh, search Google Chrome. And you'll get a link right there. And by the way, even though they just announced this thing a few hours ago, it downloaded like a dream. What you'd think, uh, a couple hundred billion dollars to give you enough money maybe to, to build a solid network? It appears so. Have fun.